Americans, Patriots, Christians, all alike, how you doing today? Well, as feminism continues to destroy women, men, and uh, the nuclear family in general, as women continue to complain about men, how are these men's fault? And they take accountability for nothing. Feminism has even found a way to destroy lesbian marriages and relationships. This is how evil this is. Now we know about the, uh, I think the divorce rate is about 56% in the country right now, which is pretty, pretty horrible. I think it's about 53%. In one mile, take exit 52B, on right, and the to church. Tukonic State Parkway North. Church. That's because feminism has also affected the church. And women complain that uh, how men should be more like women or how they need to understand women better. Okay, if that's the case, let's take a look at divorce among gay men as opposed to lesbians. And it's not even close. On right to Taconic State Parkway North. There is by far more divorces in lesbian marriages than in gay marriages. Now, I know, why would you want to talk about something like that? Yeah, I know, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, but sometimes, in order to make something logical, you have to untwist the stupid logic they gave you in the first place and try to make sense of that. And then use their own twisted logic against them to prove a point. Which goes to show you that no matter how much women say uh, men don't understand women, they need to do better, they need to act more like women, well if that's the case, why are lesbian divorce is so high compared to gay men. If you understand each other so well, what is the problem? You know the old phrase, there is not a house big enough for two females? There you go. But here's the thing with feminism and how it's affected lesbians because they train women to do nothing but take, 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 receive, and give nothing because they're entitled. Well, I'm a woman. I'm beautiful. I, I'm entitled. I'm... Well, when you have two people like that in a marriage, sharing a house or an apartment, and the other one wants the other one to do nothing but give, 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 while... Well, both of them neither want to, uh, I'm sorry, they both want to take, 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 and neither one of them want to give, give, give. There you go. When you got two identical birds in the same cage, something has to give. And this is all being hidden by the media. The media doesn't talk about this. You're not going to see this in our corporate media. Or by the left themselves, or amongst the feminist groups. You know what you're not going to hear from the feminist groups? How domestic violence among lesbian couples is also higher than gay men, and even heterosexual, I think. So, according to their logic, if we acted more like women, We would be in more domestic uh, uh, disputes. And the divorce rate would probably be even higher. So, make that make sense, feminist. Make that make sense, feminist lesbians. Now, let me tell you something. Anyone who's been in law enforcement will tell you. The two worst things to deal with are domestic abuses and traffic stops. 
And then they'll tell you even further that domestics among gay couples are nasty. They're worse than heterosexual ones. They are flat out nasty. Whether it's men or women, it is flat out nasty. Especially among women. And the media won't tell you that either. Or the feminists or the feminist lesbians. So for all you men out there, Generation Y, Z, and Alpha, don't let the world, don't let the media, and don't let these college campuses tell you any different. You have a mind, you have a soul, and you have a conscience. Listen to it. I encourage you, Z people, and your upcoming alpha males, generation alpha males, not the alpha male himself, but to go look at Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and go look at how entitled and important these feminists in the 20s are or what they think they deserve and how you don't bring much to the table because a woman's greatest legacy are the children she's left behind and their success and that goes for a father too And then go look at the videos of the same women in their 30s, how they begin to start melting down. Because now they're single, they have no one, they have no kids, and biology kicks in. And all of a sudden, again, I'm going to say it again, I do in previous videos, now that they're not contending with the 20s for the same guy they used to sleep with all the time that don't want to pay attention to them because, one, they have a high body count of men they slept with and they're a bunch of hoes. And a woman's past matters. And how they're desperate for children all of a sudden. And once you get to the age of 35 and you don't have children, you're risking having problems with a kid. Having a kid after 35. Especially when you've never had one. They say, especially when you've never had one before, they say. How true that one is? I don't know. Women have an expiration date. And the feminist women screwed each other again. I'll have links down below. You can check it out for yourself. Do your own research. Keep the country in prayer. Jesus Christ is still king. And we'll talk to you later.